everybody, I'm here today with Abby Elphinstone, Hello. the author of Dream Snatcher, and also the curator of Winter Magic, which is a gorgeous anthology of <laughs> festive and wintry stories. Uh, and today we're going to do a little bit of a, a wintry Q&A, some festive questions. Um, and to start off, I just wanted to ask you about your favourite books to read at Christmas. Are there particular stories that you always like to revisit at this time of the Definitely. year? Definitely. Absolutely. So... Perhaps an obvious answer, but the first book that I definitely turn to every Christmas is The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Um, it's one of my favourites of the series. Um, but I grew up in Scotland, in the middle of nowhere, in a house that was very cold and with lots of snow around, usually at Christmas. And we used to read The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe as a family, um, usually in bed. And it was really exciting and loved the story. Um, and then there was that BBC adaption as well. Oh, yes. With the, I don't know if you rewatch it, you see the hedgehogs, not the hedgehogs, the beavers, um, looking absolutely absurd, but it was totally believable back in the 90s. And that music, if you listen yeah. to it now, it I just know it. transports da, you. Da, 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 da. That. that one. Yeah, well, grew up on that, um, and yeah, I have a lifelong love of the book. Um, I love Lucy Pevensey. She taught me to be curious as a little girl. She taught me, it doesn't matter if your older siblings don't believe in what you think you can see, you can see it anyway. Um, and I love that moment when she pushes over the, open the wardrobe door and there's snow, which is a surprise, <laughs> and a, a Narnian forest. But when she sees the fawn, Mr Tumnus, she's not that surprised. And I think that mag well, snow presupposes a sense of magic. You know, you think, well, actually, it's not that surprising that there are magical beings here because the snowy forest is the perfect setting yeah. for it. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. So definitely Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe and um, absolutely the Snow Queen. Uh, my hand's Christian Anderson. Um, it's so exciting that one of our authors um, has done a retelling in Winter Magic yeah. of the Snow Queen, um, but Burley Doherty. Um, but yeah, I love that story. I love that little Gerda, the girl in it, her constancy and her devotion to her friend. She's another amazing um, heroine. She's another amazing heroine, exactly. All these girls at Christmas. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I love that that is so well contrasted with the Snow Queen's icy heart yeah. and the troll's splintered mirror that entered her friend's eye. So, and heart. So, yeah, I love that one. I think the other one that we both love um, for snow is The Wolves of Willoughby Chase, isn't of it? Of course. By Joan Aiken. It's brilliant. And I think, yeah, the wolves howling, Miss Sly Carp inside, and then Bonnie rushing around. Um, no, it, it's absolutely brilliant. The setting's great. Wolves, anything with wolves. The Wolf Wilder, more recently, I adore yeah. for a winter read. Um, the Wolf Princess as well. Um, but definitely, I think a, a, a villain's evil nature is often exacerbated by snow. It's that iciness that you can really see in them as well. Fantastic. And um, while you're reading your Christmas stories, uh, is there usually some sort of festive treat to hand? We've got our marshmallow hot chocolate Chocolates. today, but what are your other favourite kind of festive, festive treats? treats? Um, I think it's the chocolates, um, the chocolate decorations on the trees. Oh yes. Yeah, we start with about 30. And then by Christmas Day, there's half of Santa's bum, or whatever. <laughs> um, so I really like the chocolate treats. Um, they're delicious. And yeah, I know it's not classic, like a turkey or something. We once had a Christmas where my mum put the turkey outside to keep it cold because there was no room in the fridge. We had a tiny fridge and a fox ate it. <gasps> So no. we had spaghetti bolognese for Christmas. Wow. <laughs> and it was not the same, you know, past the parmesan <laughs> instead of past the pigs and blankets, whatever it is. So, yeah, probably chocolate's my treat. Chocolate, can't go wrong with chocolate. Christmas. Well, exactly. Just can't go wrong. And do you have any kind of, like, family festive traditions? Are there certain things that you have to do each year at Christmas? Yeah, I mean, stockings, obviously. Um, but I think my favourite tradition is when we go and collect our Christmas tree. Um, most people probably just go to a garden centre, but up in the wilds of Scotland, um, we go and get our tree from the forest um, wow. uh, where a friend lives, and we chop it down, and it's a Nordman fir, and it smells incredible, and we put it on the back of a lorry, <laughs> or like a big kind of truck, and then we take it home, and then we have to put sort of rope at the top of the tree, and then yank it up the hall to tie it wow. you know, to the stairs so it doesn't topple over, and it's just, it transforms that room, um, the smell of you know, needles, um, pine needles, fernies, whatever, is so powerful and so evocative. Um, so that's really exciting. And we hang um, Christmas lights, all different colours, on the trees. And I used to be really scared of the dark as a child and a bit like plop, that owl. <laughs> and um, when I looked out of my, be my bedroom door at Christmas, I used to see the lights on the Christmas tree and it made darkness a little bit less frightening. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, that's lovely. 
And do you have sort of favourite Christmas movies or films that you watch this time of year? Yes, um, The Snowman. Oh, Absolutely, classic. the haunting music and yeah. yeah, the animation. It's so beautiful. And actually, um, with my own story in Winter Magic, um, it's a slight twist on that story itself. Um, and I think the thing with snow or with a snowman that's so exciting is that snow is something that doesn't last; it melts. So you've got a window of opportunity for magic. And while it exists, your snowman, anything could happen. And I think I really love that yeah. Um, idea. So, yeah, definitely the snowman. And um, did you ever watch Miracle on 34th Street? Yeah. Yeah. Is that the original version or the, the sort of 90s? I, I feel think? like it's the new one. Yeah. With, In, um, is it Mara Wilson? Yeah, the girl that played yeah. Matilda. Yeah. Did she be Matilda? Yeah. I think she did. Yeah, that one. I love that. Yeah, lovely. Um, yeah, I love a child hoping it will. Actually, child's cynical at the beginning, isn't she? And then she's won over by an adult's belief in magic, the stepfather or the mother's boyfriend. So I think that's a powerful thing as well, and it twists the tradition slightly. And I was going to ask you um, about a little bit about Christmas presents. Oh, yeah. Um, so if you could give a present to Moll, your character in Dream Snatcher, what, what would you give her? What would you put under the Christmas tree for her? Patience. Just a little <laughs> box with patience inside it, <laughs> wrapped up in a bow because she'd hate that. abstract gift. Yeah. <laughs> give her a patient. I mean, I could give her another catapult, but that would just be increasing the recklessness. So probably patience. Um, <laughs> and yeah, what am, what am I? Did you ask what I'm looking forward yeah, to as well? Yeah, so I was going to also ask you what you would like to find under the Christmas tree. What would I like? Or in your stocking at the end of the bed on Christmas morning. I once thought I'd been given a unicorn, a real unicorn, wow. in my stocking. Um, it turned out to be a hockey stick and lots of books, and so I thought it was the unicorn's horn or something ridiculous. Um, what would I like this year? I think a, a new pair of trainers. I feel like I'm in a rush to get everywhere at the moment, and these trainers are not doing their job, so I'd like a new pair of trainers, maybe a bit of neon, neon on them, yeah. so I can get places more quickly. That's like Wing and Wing Jones. Good practical gift, yes. Perfect, perfect. Well, that's it for my festive question. Thank you so much, Abby. This has been really good fun. Oh, thank you for having me. Um, and thank you very much for watching. And stay tuned for more festive videos coming soon.